Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to add a materials to the objects and also we'll see how to render it. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the simulation. So we will add the materials to this now. So first we'll create a null for this fluid and this object here, the one which we have created for the collision. So first of all, I will remove these connections. Uh, so just remove this. And also we'll remove this match. So we'll take the null for this fluid. Uh, so just we'll take an and just we'll connect here and we'll name it as like out underscore chocolate. And also we'll take an alpha this torus like donut. So just we'll take an null again and we'll name it as out underscore donut. And now we'll go to this stage context. So if you select here and we can go to this stage context. So we'll take a node called soap import. So this node is used to import the object which we are created outside this geometry here. And now after selecting this node here, there is an option soap path. So here we need to browse the models which we have created. So as we have created the nulls for each and every object here, uh, so for fluid, we have created one null and also we have created one null for the donut. So we need to browse these two nulls so that we can see in this stage context. So I will go to this stage context. And now here uh, in path, we need to browse that two nulls. So we need to select this one for this chocolate and select this and click on accept. And see now we can able to see this fluid here. And also we need to take another one so we can copy paste. So just control C, control V and we can select this and we need to browse this donut. So select and click on accept. And now we, in order to see this both, we need to take an match. So take an match now and just both connect to this match here. And we can rename this. Uh, so let's say this one will be like chocolate. And this one will be donut. So now we need to add a material for these two objects. So we need to take an material library and we need to connect to this match. So we need to go inside. So now we need to create a materials in this. So we need to search for MTLX standard surface. So we need to select this. So let us call it as like chocolate and we'll duplicate this. This will call it as donut. And now we need to go back. And now we need to select this material library and we need to cl uh, click this option called autofill material so that whatever the materials we have added inside this, will be shown here. So we have we have added the two materials inside this. So now when you see here, when we click on this autofill materials, now we got these two materials. So one is like chocolate and one is like donut. And now what the thing is, we need to enable this assign to geometry. And now let's say this is a chocolate. So we need to browse this chocolate node into this geometry path here. So just we need to select and drag here so that this material will be applied to this chocolate. And for this donut, we need to drag this donut into this geometry path here. Just I will enable this. And see now we got these two materials applied and now we need to render this. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called Karma. So just we need to select this and we need to connect to this. And just I will set this display flag to this here. And now we need to add lights for this. Uh, so. Now in order to add light, we need to search for dome light. So just we need to select this and we need to connect this light to this match here. So just we need to connect here. So inside this dome light, we can browse the HDRI lighting textures. So now if you want to download HDRI images, we can go to this uh, HDRI poly heaven. So just we need to click, click on this. So here we can download a lot of HDRI images for free. So let's say for example, if I want to download this HDRI, so I can select this and we can click on this download. So after downloading that HDRI, we need to browse in this dome light. So if you select this dome light and here you can see there is an option like texture, we need to browse that HDRI which we have downloaded from the internet. So we need to select this, we need to go to the location. So this is a image which we have downloaded. So we need to select this and we need to click on this accept. And see now we got this material and here we can use the intensity of this light. So if you want to increase and decrease the intensity of this light, we can use this. So if you increase now, it will increase the intensity. And if you decrease, it will decrease the intensity of the light here. 
And here uh, we can see the, uh, we can change the render engine to this karma here. So if you select this perspective and you can see there is an option like karma. So now we can able to see this. So now exactly the HDRI light image has been reflected onto these objects here. Now we need to change the colors of this materials here. So in order to do that, we need to go to this material library. So select this. And also I will just click on play. So just I want the fluid should be uh, fall onto this donut here. Okay, until here it is fine. So now we will add the colors to this uh, fluid and this donut here. And now first we'll change the color of this chocolate. So we will select this and here you can see First, if you want to change the color, you can see there is an option like base color. So you can select this and let's say we'll put it to like dark brown. Okay. And if you want to make it more dark, you can make this. And now see if we got more reflections. If you want, if you don't want this much of reflection, we can decrease the specularity. So if you click on, if you close this, and now if you go to this specular tab here, we can see there is an option like specular. So we can increase and decrease this specular here. So just if you decrease more. And now see the reflections has been decreased. And also if you want to increase the roughness here, we can increase the roughness over here. And just we will decrease this. Okay, so up to here it's fine. And also we can add the material for this donut too. So if you select this donut and you can select this. So let's say we can select like pink color or something. Just we'll decrease this color here to light pink. And also I don't want this much of reflections onto this donut here. So we can select this and we can go to this specular and we can increase the roughness over here. And also we can decrease this specular here. And if you want more shining, you can use this uh, refraction too. So if I increase this, now you will, uh, you can able to see this more reflection here. So for time being, let it be like a default. So I will put it to like 1.5. And also if you want to add the grid, we can add the grid also. So just we'll go back and we'll go to the object level. So just we'll go to this object level and here we'll create a grid here. So grid and we can increase the size. Uh, so in case if you want, just we can increase the size here. So just we can put it to like two or something. And now we'll go to the stage context. So select this. And here we will create another SOP import. So SOP import and just we need to browse that grid. So select this and just we need to browse that grid here. So select this grid and click on accept. And also just we'll make it like an ground. And we need to connect to this match here. And see now we can able to see this grid here. And we can apply the material for this. So in order to apply the material here in material library, we can create another material. So just we can duplicate this. And we'll name it as ground. And let's say we'll select this. Just we will uh, change the color. So first of all, we need to update that. So we need to go back. And here, if you select this material, and we can select this option like autofill. And now we got this another material here so we need to browse that model so we need to browse this ground over this geometry path and now we got this and now inside this material path we need to select this and just we need to change the color let's say we'll put it like a white color or something and now we'll add some sort of reflection to this ground here so in order to add this so we can increase this uh, specular and also we can decrease this roughness over here and also we can increase this uh, refraction. So see now we can able to see this uh, reflection onto this ground. So I can increase more. So I'll just decrease the roughness completely. And also in, in case if you want to change the render type means like suppose if you go to this and if you select this karma render settings and here you can see this is now rendering by using this CPU. If you want to render by GPU, you can select this XPU. So I can select this and now it will start rendering. And now we got this beautiful uh, render and now we'll see how to export it as a sequence here. So first I will delete this nodes because I have made a lot of changes. So just I will explain it freshly. So just I will delete this. And now up to here we have done this like materials and now we need to render this. So in order to render this, we need to take a karma node. So after this, we need to connect to here. And also what I think is in between, we need to create a camera before rendering, because if you select this karma settings and here you can see there is an like camera. 
So we need to connect the camera in between this uh, material library and this render setting so that we can able to render this. So we can take a camera here or else if you want to create a camera, you can directly select this option. So here you can see there is an option like new camera and now see it has been created a new camera. But what the thing is, this has to be connected off before this camera here. So what I will do is just, I will connect this to here. So now we have added a camera between in this uh, material library and this karma render settings. And now what the thing is in order to export this first, we need to make some changes. So we need to select this karma settings and here we need to give the output library it means like where you want to save it. So what I will do is just, I will copy this name here. So I will just click on this to browse the location where you want to save. So at present I will uh, save it on desktop and let's say we'll create a new folder like chocolate and just click on accept. And here we'll give the file name. And also I want to export it as an JPEG. So instead of EXR, we can put it to like JPG. And also we can give the name, let's say chocolate render or something. And now we have to click on this accept. So now we have set this uh, thing and now we have the camera one. So already it has been set here. And also now we need to go to this uh, USD render. And now here there is an option like valid frame range. So current frame is nothing but it's like 54. It will render only the 54 frame. It's 54 frame. So if you want to render only single frame, you can use this option. Or if you want to export from like uh, zero to 250 frames or something, we need to select this option like render specific frame range. And we need to select this and that's it. So if you go to this karma settings, so everything is okay. Now resolution, you can set the resolution. So let it be like 1280 by 720. And also we can use this uh, CPU engine. Suppose in case, if you want to use GPU, you can use this XPU engine. So we need to select this USD render and we need to click on this render to disk here. So if you select this, now it will start rendering. So it will take time. It depends on your system uh, configuration. So in this way, we can add the materials to the object and also we have seen how to render it. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.